Okay, hey there guys. Um, I am publishing this video as a live stream. Uh, it seems apt to do it that way. Uh, in a previous video, I talked a bit about a, a piece of software I wrote for my Lumix Panasonic G85 camera. It allows you to uh, capture the live video stream that the camera produces on your phone, but allows you to capture it onto your computer, and you can push it to YouTube directly or any uh, of the modern live streaming sites. Uh, so I posted a link in the description below. It gives you access to a GitHub a repo with the code there. It's not that long. It's pretty, pretty quick, pretty simple. Um, I haven't seen anyone release code like this before. Um, I saw one code base for the GH3 a few years ago that allows you to preview it um, on your computer, but this uh, allows you to push straight to YouTube with audio. Very simple. Um, nothing more, nothing less. Um, I, I'm calling the project the free, free wireless HDMI. Uh, and that's because most of these Lumix cameras or any mirrorless or DSLR based camera, you generally need an HDMI cable to, to do any type of live streaming with it or any type of YouTube type work. Um, if you don't have a HDMI capture card, you have to generally record to an SD card and then post-produce your video. Uh, HDMI capture cards are not cheap. You know, they're 80 bucks for a basic, basic one and three, four hundred dollars for a decent one. And, you know, they're not very convenient. Um, conversely, if you wanted to use a webcam to do live streaming, they look like shit. You know, they, the colors aren't right. They might claim to be 4K or 1080p, and they still look like garbage. And you don't have a background that looks kind of nice. Um, so this is uh, a pretty pretty nice medium. Uh, the, the stream that you can get from a GD5 is either 640 by 480 or 640 by 360. Uh, I recommend the 640x360 because it's widescreen and it looks better on YouTube this way. Um, when the video is captured by my little script, I actually upscale it to 1280x720. Um, and I think that looks pretty good once it hits YouTube. You're seeing how it looks right now live or you know when you wake up tomorrow morning and check this out. Uh, should look pretty decent. This is live streaming, you know, from a wireless camera. Um, it's not the most easy script to use, though. It um, does require some packages to be installed, Python, NumPy, OpenCV, GStreamer, uh, some other things. Um, so I wouldn't recommend this for anyone, but if you no Python, or if you are a big audio video head and you really want to give this project a shot, um, you should be able to figure out how to do it within an afternoon or so. Uh, what else? It's it's probably easiest to get this working on either Ubuntu or Windows. Um, For some reason, the Lumix camera doesn't autofocus if I'm not recording, but there's no point in recording if I'm more or less streaming. Uh, I don't know how to turn that on yet, so you have to manually focus for now. It does have very, very good battery life, though. Um, if I am doing it without the recording, and I'm just doing preview mode, so I can go for quite a while. Uh, another problem is, yeah, it goes into sleep mode every 10 minutes or so. 
so I have to wake it out of sleep mode, but it doesn't, um, you know, kill the video stream at all, which is kind of nice. Keeps that going. It just kind of puts the sensor to sleep, I think. Uh, I have it set to take the default audio source on your computer as the input. If the synchronization isn't perfect, you can adjust it a little bit down to like the nanomillisecond. I just threw in some quick numbers to get it roughly in sync, so it's not 100% in sync. Uh, what else? Um, I know the audio on my on my microphone here is probably a little bit loud. Uh, the microphone I'm using is a Shure SM57 with a, a little foam cover that you can get from Shure. Um, this code can work with things like the Sony mirrorless cameras or GoPros or whatever you want, but it's going to take a little bit of tweaking of some modification to get them working. Most of these cameras, wireless preview cameras, work under the same principle of motion JPEG. Um, so most of them should work with the script with a few modifications. Uh, I welcome them. If you get it working with another camera, post the code and I'll... I'll sync it up. Um, yeah. Uh, what else? Uh, looking at my YouTube. It says it's offline, but that doesn't make any sense. Anyways. Um, one of the challenges of using this you know, application is it does automatically push to YouTube or if you want to change it. You can push to Twitch or Facebook or anything like that. Um, but you can't really produce the video in real time. That's kind of annoying. Uh, this is a little bit of a um, advert, I guess. But um, there's a company called Stage10.tv. Uh, I'm associated with them, so as a disclaimer. But what you can do is you can push the, your video feed to stage 10 just like you would YouTube and what you do is when you log on to stage 10 is you see your feed and you can actually pull in other video feeds from your webcam from your phone from static VOD files and you can mix them all together in real time into a single video and produce it kind of like you're using OBS or something but in the cloud you can invite friends and whatever else and then in real time, you can push your produced video to Facebook, to Twitch, to wherever, um, all at the same time, simulcasting them. And so you all of a sudden become a professional broadcaster. And you don't need to buy a fancy HDMI card. You don't need anything like that. Uh, this script would let you be a pretty good host of such a you know, live streaming produced video channel for, you know, for Facebook or whatever, invite your friends and have a pretty nice professional conversation. Uh, check that out, stage10.tv. You can sign up currently, I think, for a, um, I think we're going to be having a open beta test soon. That's hopefully going to be free uh, for all you all to try out for a few months um, and probably put out a free entry level tier I hope eventually uh, for everyone to continue to use it after that but we're targeting it for prosumers and professionals in the long term uh, so a lot of professional features and support and um, I suppose if this app this little script gets a lot of attention uh, maybe I'll make a little bit of an effort to release it in a more professional, easy to use manner for people. And I'll perhaps tie that into stage 10. But yes, I am spending a lot of my time at stage 10 these days. Um, I have so many audio re and pro video reviews to do for, of other products. And I have a bunch of software hacks and some other software products I want to get out there. But, um, Uh, 
I've just been busy working. Um, yeah. Anyways, uh, I hope this is a good test and a good example of what the uh, free HDMI Wi-Fi the app can do. If you need help with it, you can ask. Um, I don't know how much time I'll have to to support it. I just threw it out there for free, but um, yeah, pretty cool. This is using a Lumix GD5 camera streaming through my computer directly to YouTube. Uh, no cables attached to the Lumix, so that's kind of cool. Um, I'm just rambling now. Okay, guys. Uh, Take care.